Club eight. Number one is Anne Sufi, written by Graham Bradley. 50 to 1 to give Graham his 10th winner of the festival. Better off at 25 to 1, Richard Dunwoody. Clooney Bridge at 8 to 1, Charlie Swan. Eichkin 50 to 1, Mick Fitzgerald. Fox Chapel's King is 10 to 1, Conor O'Dwyer. French Holly out to 9 to 4 now, the favourite, Andrew Thornton. Hailstorm 50 to 1, Adrian Maguire. Knock leader doesn't take part. Mr. Markham certainly does, 16 to 1, Philip Hyde. No Sam, 200 to 1, Russ Garrity. Samuel Wilderspin, 20 to 1, Richard Johnson. Strong Tell, 33 to 1, Richard Hughes. Number 13 is Sweet Lord, 200 to 1, Peter Niven. Tall Boy, 8 to 1, Tony McCoy for the Paul Green owner who won the last race here yesterday. Erin Taunt, 8 to 1, Thierry Dumas. Lady Rebecca down to 8 to 1, well tipped in the papers this morning, Norman Williamson. Abu Hom is uh, ridden by Chris Maud, 33 to 1. Borazon is blinkered for the first time today, 33 to 1, and Carl Llewellyn. And completing the lineup is Jazz Track, 100 to 1 outsider, who's blinkered, and that's partnered by Robert Thornton. They uh, race away, one or two a little bit uh, slow to go. Jazz Track, one of them. Boris on the very wide outside. Very short run to the first flight, and it's Tall Boy who leads at it. And they're all safely over. Jazz Track, a slight mistake. Boris on a little bit slower, and Taunt nearer last to first. French Holiday sits third as they make their way to the second. And it's torn by the blue, light blue jacket on the right, the yellow colours, Clune Bridge showing up, the dark blue of French Holiday. For that the style of jumping, watch him with every fight of hurdles if we can. He just doesn't have that natural arc of a fluent hurdler. Through on the inside, and Sufi getting a little bit closer, the white jacket, Aishkin showing up. Mr Markham just in front of Sweet Lord as they begin the turn out of the back straight on this very long run between uh, flights two and three of the ten they jump in this two mile five trip. At the back of this stage is Abu Ham, but his stable companion, uh, Tur Tall Boy, leads by about half a length to, in second place, uh, Clearham Bridge. French Hollies is sitting in third. Aishkin on the outside of Sweet Lord with Ansufi running the rails. Mr. Markham behind that. Uh, Borazon, who was a little bit slow to go, has made ground on the outer. Erin Tons tracking wide as they come down towards flight number three. They're through the first half mile then in this Royal and Southern Alliance. And tall boy, he led at it. They're all over that. Abu Hom, the back marker. Also towards the back is Strong Tail. So the pipe per combination of uh, either end of the race at this stage come down on another long run towards flight number four. Yeah, they, there's quite a packing field with Tall Boy probably just uh, settling the pace. And Borazon, who was slow to go on the extreme left in the light blue and maroon, coming out to take up the running now as uh, flight four comes towards it. So it's Borazon leading to Cloonbridge in second and then Boy third with Aaron Todd the outside making ground. Followed through by Sweet Lord, Hailstorm sits midfield, Fox Chapel King is midfield too. Better off on the inside with Mr. Mark. And they're about six line across the track as they come up past the packed enclosures with the circuit to go. Tall Boy the inside, Clune Bridge, French Holly, a wave of three. Then we have Sweet Lord, followed by Anne Sufi, Erin Tarn, Borazon, Fox Chapel King, better offer. And then Samuel Wilderspin, Hailstorm, and behind these, Jazz Track, Lady Rebecca, followed by uh, Strong Tell, with towards the back of this stage, No Sam, and also in arrears as they make the run towards the back straight, Aishkin. And look at those stands, you couldn't put a stick of pin in anywhere. So down the hill on the far side, and it's Tall Boy who continues to show with Clune Bridge. French Holly's had a beautiful run, sitting there in third place under Andrew Thornton, followed then by Sweet Lord in the pink sleeve jacket, and Fox Chapel King moving up into fifth place. He's well placed as well as they land over the next. Back in the field, Lady Rebecca has been ridden very patiently. They head down towards the next flight of hurdles, number six, and it's Tall Boy from Clune Bridge and French Holly. Back in fourth, Sweet Lord from Fox Chapel King, and then the French raider Erin Taunt, the outside, better offer in green making good headway and these are followed by Anne Sufi the inside Samuel Wilderspin Hailstorm making ground on the wide outside made a very bad blunder at the first flight Hailstorm doing well to get in this position Lady Rebecca still with work to be done they begin to climb now on the far side about to take a left hand turn towards flight number seven and it's Tall Boy and Tony McCoy from Clunebridge second French Holly poised to pounce on the outside in third place followed by Fox Chapel King and Sweet Lord and then better offer and Hailstorm Storm still improving with Samuel Wilderston and then Erin Taunt. Mr. Markham is struggling. Jazz Track is making a bit of ground from Strong Tell as they now reach the top of the hill. And it's Tall Boy, but now faced with uh, a strong presence because French Holly is looming very large on the outside. Fox Chapel King in third, Clunebridge four at the top of the hill. 
Lady Rebecca being ridden along, and the red colours down in about seventh place. Erin Tom with a lot of running to do, but look on the left, the dark blue. That's French Holly, unbeaten four out of four, but the black and white on the right is Fox Chapel King, and between Fox Chapel King and Mistake there, and between the pair was Tall Boy, continuing to race downhill, and this power performer, this is uh, French Holly into the lead to Tall Boy in second. The yellow is Clune Bridge in third. The black and white is Fox Chapel King, but they've got two more flights of hurdles to jump, and it's French Holly in the Royal and Southern Lions. He went to the top of it. Tall Boy is keeping up a gallop and running a personal best with his spread eagle the field here. And this is a giant of a horse in every way. It's French Holly and Andrew Thornton enjoying his best season. Andrew Thornton's had 70 so far. He's had one winner at the champion at the festival meeting. Two if he takes this. He does, but he doesn't jump it fluently. But what a huge horse he is, getting a tremendous reception. There's a furlong and a half between the leader and the last. The leader is French Holly. The winner's going to be French Holly. His ears pricked, and he is a mighty contender. It's French Holly who wins. Tall Boy is second. Bloombridge is third, and these three are 20 lengths clear of a bunch for fourth, which Samuel Wilder has been just nosing through in front of Jazz Track and then Fox Chapel King. Lady Rebecca Erin Taunt in front of Anne Sufi, who finished better offer and strong tail. And Mr. Markham and Hale Storm, and behind these came Sweet Lord, and after Sweet Lord, Boris on. And then we had uh, No Sam, and last of all, last of all to finish was Abu Ham. And so the result then of this, the Royal and Sun Alliance novices hurdle hailed as a, an English, as a British banker at the meeting, and French Holly uh, has obliged. Ferdy Murphy trains, Mr K Flood owns, and Andrew Thornton, his 71st winner of the season, and a beautiful season for Andrew, the two-to-one favourite uh, winner here. He's picked up all sorts of spares through the course of the year, and none more deserved quite much than this horse. French Holly. First number six, French Holly, two to one favourite. Second number 14, Torboy at eight to one. And third number three, Clune Bridge at eight to one. The totes, the win, 270. Places 160, 290 and two pounds. Dual forecast, 15 pounds. And the computer straight forecast, 13 pounds and 58 pence. Non-runner number eight. and.